Police say LSD when it happened, his mother there to witness it all. The bizarre turn of events all caught on video when he goes on a state of euphoria to aggression in a matter of moments. Topping tonight's 10 at 10, a former University of Minnesota student high on LSD confronts campus police. The whole thing unfolding on camera. 20 year old Samuel Bolt was found guilty this week of two gross misdemeanors connected to a 2014 episode that provides a rare look at police use of force. Fox Science Jack Heiberger here to explain how it all went down. Jack? You know, Randy, when you look at this video, you just imagine all the ways this could have turned out so much worse. Now, the video you're about to see is pretty wild. Samuel Bolt, the son, of a Minnesota judge admits he lost control. And tonight the video is providing unique insight into police tactics. It's a situation Judge Diane Bratvolt has no doubt seen before. Surveillance video of a confrontation on the verge of exploding. But this time the person struggling with police was not a stranger, but her 18 year old son. And Judge Bratvolt was not watching from a courtroom but right there in person. See, they're giving them directions. We played back the video for police use of force expert Joe Dutton. Now we got ourselves a real fight. And frame by frame, we watched as the situation grew from bizarre to potentially dangerous. Oh, she tased him. But it would take more than a single taser to stop Samuel Bolt. The University of Minnesota freshman later admitting he was high on LSD. Video from inside Sanford Hall at first shows moments of emotional ecstasy, but soon later uncontrolled mania. At one point, Bolt appearing to reach for an officer's gun belt, then kicking his feet and swinging his arms. By and large, I would say the officers handled that pretty well. Dutton believes the force used by campus officers was both appropriate and not surprising. They're trying to keep the force low but they need to gain custody of this person. And they're constantly making those decisions. And in the end, it works. Bolt is arrested and both officers walk away without serious injury, ending a situation that very well could have ended much worse. And Bolt did apologize to his arresting officers on the stand in court and went on to say he respects the court's decision and will honor whatever punishment is handed down. Randy, back to you.